Let's head a little bit west of the capital city, take a live view in Aurora over our Penner Bathing Solutions camera. Not a lot to see uh, aside from just a bunch of sunshine out that way, but there are some thunderstorms starting to develop on radar, and we'll show you those uh, coming up in just a moment. Uh, heat advisories for all these orange shaded counties. That's in effect through 9 o'clock tonight, but all these pink shaded counties, that's where we got an excessive heat warning still in effect. It includes Lincoln, Seward, uh, out towards Saline County, and even uh, up I-80 towards Omaha. So these pink shaded counties, that's where we have the excessive heat warning through 9 o'clock tonight. And here's why the heat indices pushing 110 degrees at times. Heat index of 108 degrees in Omaha, 107 in Lincoln and Wahoo. Uh, and again, the heat index is the feels like temperature and really all across southeast Nebraska. We're seeing heat indices exceeding the 100 degree mark. As far as actual air temperatures are concerned, we have uh, surpassed the century mark in a few locations. Beatrice sitting at 101 degrees, 100 degrees in Lincoln, 100 as well in Wahoo and Omaha, but slightly cooler air off towards the west. 92 in Aurora, 93 in York, and 91 in Kearney. We do have a cold front off towards the west, and here's where it sits right now. You may notice the southerly winds to the south of the front and the northerly winds behind the front. Those northerly winds transporting cooler air into portions of north central Nebraska. Check out O'Neill sitting at 74 degrees right now. Satellite and radar perspective behind the front. We are seeing some shower development out towards the panhandle. We're also seeing some development out ahead of the front. Uh, this is the area in our coverage area that we are watching just to the south of Kearney. Nothing severe at this time, but maybe one or two of these may uh, try to grow into something strong. Uh, maybe if uh, some gusty winds or some small hail. Uh, maybe, just maybe seeing an isolated severe thunderstorm out of some of these storms tonight. But for this evening, I'm thinking most of these will stay off towards the west. We'll pick that up with Stormcast uh, starting at 6 o'clock and you see them move off towards the northeast, towards the Tri-Cities, maybe out towards uh, Stromsburg, Central City, out towards Columbus as the night wears on, but mainly west of Lincoln this evening. Heading overnight, that front gets closer and closer to Lincoln, so we can't completely rule out a stray overnight shower. Uh, not a, a guarantee for rainfall, but we have to mention the chance, uh, likely waking up to some cloud cover on Sunday. That front is still going to be with us in towards Sunday, so as the day progresses, we can't completely rule out a scattered shower or thunderstorm, uh, so as long as the front is nearby, can't completely rule it out, so we have it in our forecast. Uh, however, I should mention, as far as accumulations go, not likely a widespread meaningful rainfall event for those that do see rain, uh, most likely just picking up a couple hundredths of an inch, but you see a few locations here uh, picking up nothing at all. So for tonight, 76 degrees in Lincoln, but cooler off towards the northwest as we do have that front off towards the west, upper 60s out towards the Tri-Cities. For the day tomorrow, there's really good bus potential for our high temperatures tomorrow. It just depends on the timing of the front. The far southeastern Nebraska, a decent chance of reaching the uh, middle and upper 90s. We're saying 94 for Lincoln, but look off towards the northwest. We do have cooler highs in the forecast, and because warmer air is in the forecast in far southeastern Nebraska, we do have a heat advisory in effect uh, for Lincoln, Beatrice, and points to the southeast from noon to 8 o'clock on Sunday. But everybody reaps the benefits of the cooler air on Monday, 83 degrees. The humidity will actually drop off a little bit as well. Clouds will decrease. Uh, there is a very small chance for an early morning shower on Monday, but the rest of the day is dry. Sunny skies on Tuesday, 88 degrees. We'll keep sunny skies on Wednesday, Wednesday uh, back into the 90s there, and then the, just the summer-like air mass returns for the end of the week. Ariana.